guys, this is math six, lesson six dash six. Find a whole given a part and the percent. This is the last lesson of this um, topic six. In this lesson, we'll find the whole amount <clears throat> when given a part and the percent. So last lesson, we, um, we solved how to find percent and the part when given the whole and the percent or um, um, the whole and the part. Today, we're going to find the whole. So let's look at solve and discuss it. A school soccer team won 80% of its matches. The team won 40 matches. How many matches did the soccer team play? We are not given how many how many the whole is right how many total the soccer matches are right um but we're given other information 80 percent the percentage and 40 which is the part related um corresponding to the percentage so how can we figure out the total matches the soccer team played how can you use a diagram to analyze a relationship between the quantities? Do you remember the two lines, two number lines that you drew last time? So the bottom part, you're going to represent percent. Wait, um, yeah. And then top part, you can represent the number and say, this is 0%. That is 100%. And what is given is 80% is 40 match. So um, 80, 60, 40, and 20. So 20%, 40%, 60%, that's 80%. We know that 80% is equivalent to um, 40 matches. And we want to find the whole, how many matches. So 0% zero per, uh, zero would be zero matches. So half of that, 80% half is 40%. So half of 40 is 20 matches, right? So what is half of 40? 20%. What is 20%? Half of 20, which is 10 matches. So every 20% is equivalent to 10 matches, right? 10% is 10 matches. So you can say, you can, you can count that every time your percent increases by 20%, you get 10 matches. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 matches total. So you can figure out the pattern like that and figure out the whole. But we'll learn how to figure out the whole using the equation and uh, by algebra. So um, they played total of 50 matches would be our answer. Okay, focus on math practices. Write an equation to find the total number of matches played by the soccer team. Let M represent the total number of matches. So how can you write an equation when M would be the total number of matches? Well, you know, that the percent is part divided by the whole, right? So M is the total number of matches that's going to be the whole, okay? Percent is 80%. Part is 40 matches, and the whole could be the variable M. Or you can say 0 0.8 would be the percent. 40 divided by M, okay? All right. So in this lesson, we'll think about how uh, we can find a whole in a percent problem. Let's look at example one. Find a whole in a percent problem. Bree scored 90% on her math test. Out of the total possible points on the test, her score was 135 points. How many points were possible on the test? So she earned 135 points, and that's 90%. How many points would she have to get in order to get 100%? So we're trying to figure out the whole. So you can use the double number line to represent it visually, right? 90% is 135. 100% would be P. So you can divide 135 by 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to get how much it is for 10%. Okay, so every mark would be 15 points. So 15, 30, 60, 90, and then 120. So P would be 150. Okay, another way you can um, write an equation. 90% of what number, P, is 135 is going to be our equation. So 90% times P is 135. And so that's going to be, um, so this actually comes from the percent equation. Percent is part out of whole. And so in order to find whole, you can divide part divided by percent to get the whole, okay? So P here, um, what the possible points would be is 135, the part, the part point divided by the decimal of the percent, okay? You cannot divide or multiply um, the percent when you have a percent uh, form, okay? You have to write it as a decimal form and you will get the same answer, 150. There were 150 total possible points on the test. Let's see if you can do a try by yourself. Bree took another math test and scored 152 points, and that was 95% of the total possible points. And this is gonna be a different points test. Can you figure out the total number of possible points for this test? Okay. So use the same equation here. You can, multi you can divide the part by the percent because if you multiply, you multiply the part and the percent, you get the whole, wait, no. Um, yeah, if you multiply the whole by the percent, you get the part. So in order to get the whole, you need to divide part divided by percent. So 152 divided by 95% is 152 divided by 0 0.95, okay? And do a long division. You're gonna make this uh, 15,200. And then get 195, um, seven, seven, and then you're gonna multiply six. Hundred four hundred eighty, right? Okay, and then that's gonna be ninety. And then wait, wait, wait. wait. Do it again, do it again. And 570, I'm sorry. So that's gonna be exactly 570. 95 times six is uh, 570. Okay, so that's gonna be exactly 160. So the total number of possible points is 160 points. All right, convince me. How could you use a double number line diagram to check your answer? Can you check your answer using the double number line? 100% is here, sure. Um, and we don't know that, but we know 95% is going to be 152 points. So there should be how many, num uh, how many bars there? 20 bars total, okay, because it's in terms of 5%, and there are 20 5% bars, 5%, um, 10%, and 15, and so on, okay? So you're going to divide, um, but 152 is on the last bar, okay, 95 is, so you need to think about fractions. The bar, the bar line is dividing the whole 100 into 20 equal parts, but 95 is the 19th bar out of 20 equal parts, okay? 
And so 152 is the 19th one. Then you gotta divide 152 by 19 and multiply that by 20 to get 160. Okay, so how can we better describe that? You can draw a double number line diagram from 0% to 100%, divide the number line into 20 equal parts, and then label 95% Fifty-two. Each mark on the number line represents a point. A point times twenty marks equals hundred sixty points. So the answer is. There's another way you can check if your answer is really correct. Okay, let's look at example two on the next page. Find a hole when percent is greater than 100. Okay, what if your part is greater than 100? How do you find the hole? Uh, the students in one classroom sold tickets to the talent show. They sold 200% of the amount of tickets that they sold last year. How many tickets did the students sell last year? Find a number of which 200% is 40. So they sold 40 tickets and that's 200% um, of what they sold last year, right? Which is double the amount that they sold last year. So what would be the 100% here? 40 divided by two is 20. So you can just simply divide 40 by two, or you can uh, divide by the bars. You can divide 40 by 10 and then multiply that um, and, and, and see that uh, if you divide 40 by 10, that represents 20%. So if you multiply that by five, um, you can get 20 tickets. Okay, so four times five is 20. So they sold 20 tickets last year. Another way you can write an equation, 200%, that's the part times the whole is equal to, um, wait, wait, the percent times the whole is the part, right? So again, remember that percent is part divided by whole. So in order to find whole, Whole would be multiply whole on both sides and then divide percent on both sides and you get part divided by percent, okay? So the whole would be part, which is 40, divided by percent, 200%. And so that's really 40 divided by two in decimal, right? So that's 20. There you go. So the students sold 20 tickets last year. All right, example three. Find the whole when the percent is a decimal. Okay, 62.5% of what number is 30? What if your percentage given is a decimal? Can you find the exact um, number? Again, you can use the double number line or the equations to get it. Double number line, um, figure out where 62.5% would be. And you can divide each of them um, into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. And then you can say each mark represents six. And that's going to be um, six times. One, two, three, four, five. Five times six is um, 30. So um, six times eight 
would be 30. Okay, or if you if, if that's confusing you more, it might be better to just use the equation when when you have a decimal percentage. Okay, just to make sure you don't make mistakes. Um, write and solve equation. Your whole part divided by percent. Okay, so whole is going to be part, which is 30, divided by the percent in decimal. So 30 divided by 0. 0.625 would be 48. Exactly 48. So 62.5% of 48 is 30. Let's see the try it question. See if you can do parts A and B by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Pause the video. Okay, 300% of what number is 180? 300% of means multiply of what number? So let's say multiply X is 180. So you want to find X. X is 180 divided by 300 percent. So that's 180 divided by what's 300 percent in decimal? Three. So 180 divided by three is 60. So 60 is the whole. 300 percent of 60 is 180. Okay. 60 is 100 percent. Triple times 60 is 180. Okay, 0.3% is super small percentage. 0.3% of times what number X is 24? X here is 24 divided by 0.3%. What's 0.3% in decimal? 0. Point, divide 0. 0.3 by 100 and get 0, 0, 0.003. Okay, so 24 divided by 0 0.003 is actually multiplying, um, multiplying 1,000 over 3. So that's going to give you 8,000, a big number. Okay, so 0.3% of 8,000 is 24. All right. So let's summarize the lesson. You can use a double number line diagram to, um, or an equation to find a whole where the percent and a part are known. So um, if you know the percent and the part, you can use the equation whole is equal to uh, part divided by percent. And how do you know this equation? Well, percent by definition is part by, divided by whole, right? So we're just using the equivalent equation. Whole is just part divided by percent you derived from this equation, okay? So that pretty sums up our topic because that's our last lesson of this topic. Um, okay, so this is the last uh, last lesson, success six, finding the whole given a part and a percent in topic six, understand and use percent. We'll continue with the next topic in the next video. If you have any more questions, make sure you ask Miss King in class. Bye guys.